If you're looking to get yourself some Ultimate Team coins from a reliable source, then check out ultimatecoinexchange.com. Link is in the description down below. Use your code l 8 free for 10% off. Hello, this is Leech83. How are we doing? Welcome to this little player review for Tom Rogic, the silver 70 rated cam from Celtic and Australia. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a look at this card in a bit more detail, but if you enjoy this little video, then don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. So, Tom Rogic's 70 rated card then, his base stats are 67 pace, 68 shooting, 68 passing, 73 dribbling, 37 defence, and 60 physical. Of that, his top three in-game stats are 75 ball control, 74 for both long shots and shot power. His negatives are his reaction speed is pretty poor, um, his first touch isn't the greatest. For being as tall as he is, I believe he's 6 foot 2, yeah he is 6 foot 2. Um, for being 6 foot 2 you'd expect him to be a lot bit better at heading, but he's only got 58 heading and he's only got 58 crossing as well, which is a little bit of a disappointment. But if you, if you use him in a different way from that, then you should be able to get the best out of him. Now, I have played in-game with a Catalyst card on him, and for the best part of 23 games, he has managed to get 6 goals and 9 assists, which doesn't sound fantastic. I've been playing him in a lot of different variations of teams, and um, trying to do different squad builders and what have you, so those strats aren't really exactly true of him. Um, if you refer back to the Lee Griffiths player review video, you will see that he was on form with the amount of times that he put Lee Griffiths through and goal and what have you. And that's where I would say he's at his best. He's got a four star skill moves and a three star weak foot. And if you use those little bits of kind of like jinking in and out and a couple of body feints and what have you, then he can get into position to be able to get the nice little through ball passes to release your striker that you've got up front. As I say, generally he's not too bad a player. I have used worse. Um, his price ranges from 250 coins to 10,000 coins maximum and at the moment he's going for around about 1400 coins which is not too bad. As I say, I've played with worse cards that are higher rated than this one. Um, I am a little bit biased. Um, being the fact that his pace is so low and that his reactions are so low then I try and get that pace hyped up a little bit by putting the Catalyst card on him which I have used in game. It does seem to make a bit of a difference to him um, just to give him that little extra bit of a boost to his um, all round pace. In general though his stats are pretty decent, um, again like I say I'm, I'm, I am being a little bit biased but he's got um, like his sprint speed at, at overall is 65 sprint speed, he does have um, in regards of his shooting decent stats all round with the 74 shot power, 74 long shots, he also has got 66 finishing which is not too bad for a cam at a 70 rated. Um, he's also got um, decent passing stats as well, his long passing is 67 but his short passing is 74 which is not too bad and his vision is 68. He's got 71 agility, um, 75 ball control and 74 dribbling which is not too bad as well. Um, good with the ball at his feet, as I say, just his first touch sometimes when he takes the ball in isn't always the best and don't expect him to do any sort of defensive work because his defensive stats are just absolutely dug me. Um, but if he, as long as you play him in the, the, the sort of attacking mid position where he should be, trying to get those flu balls and that link up play, then you should be able to get the best out of Tom Rogic. So I have left some uh, highlights on the end for you to see Tom in action. Um, as I say, I've used them in different videos. I'll link one or two of them down below in the description as well so you can check them out. As I say, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We're going to try and do a couple of different player reviews. I'm going to try not to be biased and stick with Celtic all the time. I will try and give you some different ones and do some different. Uh, squads as well and we'll see what we can do in the future but I hope you enjoyed this little play review as I say if you do smash a like and subscribe if you're new enjoy the highlights and I'll catch you in the next one you take it easy